I've always wondered about Bahaud de Pasindok. I've talked with fishermen from other provinces. Uh, Bahaud de Pasindok is a place that uh, was on my list of places to go. I also said, what's the life of the fishermen there? Because previously, there were no political skirmishes in Bahaud de Pasindok. So, how is it as a fisherman? What's their life? I was able to go to Bajo de Pasindok last May. You have to be prepared to be out in sea for days. My hapon, I'm Attorney Goy Larzabal. Uh, we're on a boat because we want to show what it is to live as a fisherman dito sa Masinlok. Kasama natin si Tony, si Cap Efren, and fellow fishermen dito who live in this area, who fish in this area, who've been fishing here for decades. Ang pag-usapan kasi is always geopolitics. Nakakalimutan na yung mga mangingisda dito sa area. So, let's go on a trip with them, see what it is to live on a boat for how many days, Hopefully, we'll catch some fish, but more importantly, we discover the life of a fisherman dito sa Bajo de Masinlo. Most of them are actually from the Visayas in Indanao. So when we were in the boat, Bisaya ang istorya namo. Di mi magtagalog, no English. Bisaya because that's what everybody's accustomed to. Yung isa, yung kapitan, sabi niya, he's from Davao. His father brought him to Masinlok. Yung isa, he was still 19 from Lapu-Lapu. Sumama siya with yung mga kaibigan niya. Papunta na Masinlok. Uh, ano tayo? 20 na lang mula Kalboro. Kalboro? Uh, 20 na ah. lang. So, nakabiyahe na tayo ng 105 miles. Oh. So, ang tawag sa tao Scarboro but ang tawag sa local is local. Calboro 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 ah uh, mga kami pag pag, pag next sa lubong oh tayo punta Calboro at tubig Calboro uh, at punta oh, kami Calboro boto kahapon sige usol di Calboro Calboro asa <laughs> <laughs> Calboro 10 15 miles na nakay masilip-silip pa nang aali-aligid na barko oh uh. mga kaibigan hindi naman talaga sila mangharas yan basta wala lang mang gulo Next, why musod? Why musod? Waka ayaw kag sod atong um, bukana. Oo. Uh -huh. Basta dito ra kasi imong destinasyon, di makaon saon. Yes, yes. Sundan lang kanila siguro. Tanaw nila on sa imo pangalan diha uh -huh. sa bangka. Ah, para kibaos lang. Oo. Mangingisda gyud mo dinhi, di ba? Hmm. Kaya nga si Madam pinalagyan niya talaga ng ng uh, serbi uh, serbisyong putog, masinlok. Para kibaos lang na masinlok gyud din. Ga galing barko. masinlok, oo. Oh. Servisyo putog eh. Meron tayo servisyo putog. Oh, servisyo putog. putog. Well, um, sabi naman nila, there were times kasi na uh, there were big ships dredging the in the area. Overnight, as in, big ships are dredging pagkatapos. Um, marami na nag-fish-fish doon. As in, and, and the difference is the Filipino fishermen there do spear fishing. I said, bakit kaya hindi gumagamit ng net? Sabi na, one reason is that it gets tangled with the corals, di ba? No, so, 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 medyo malalim. Ang sabi kasi nila, it gets fish that they don't need. So, sayang daw. Um, that's why, spear fishing. Na. And, uh, they've been doing it for decades. And it works naman. It's, but it's, like I said, it's really different now kasi, Unlike before, less talaga yung mga isda now. There's a guy we, we met, Ronnie. Uh, that guy's impressive. He writes a banka, throws a line, di ba? For, for tangigi. He does really tangigi fishing. But his right hand is amputated. So he fishes, and when he gets a fish, he uses his left hand and uh, clips the, the line here. And with just one hand, he can bring in big fishes. 
he caught a barracuda the first day. Um, yung iba kasi, uh, they caught, iba-ibang isda eh. Um, there are also fishermen who fish for aquarium fish there. So, they fish in the morning, they get fishes, they put it in, in mga plastic containers, pressed air, wrap it up, and they do that twice a day, morning and afternoon, para back new air, fresh water. There are spear fishermen who fish for, hindi uh, masyado malaki, but the ones at night are the ones who fish for big fishes talaga. And they fish from like 7 on the evening hanggang early morning. The stories they tell about how beautiful and how bountiful Bajo de Basinok was. If you just stand, the water is up below your waist. You put your hand below the water, you can easily pick up a fish. Two days lang, puno na yung bangka nila. Now, one week, minsan kulak pa. You know, it's dark. And you can just see in the ocean, just lights. And those are the fishermen fishing at night. And it's hard, huh? I said, I tried, I tried swimming there. The current is crazy. And it's impressive how these fishermen are able to fish hours at a time. Just, nasanay siguro. It takes a lot of drink. A lot. I said, I say, I swam in Scarborough Shoal or a semblance of it. And when you see them, I saw them at six swimming. I said, it was so effortless. And they were spearfishing while I was trying to, I was hardly able to stand up and go around. And they were just swimming so flawlessly, effortlessly. Just a mask and flippers. The flippers are actually fiberglass. And I ask, how do they, how do you, how do you pedal? How do you move? It's, it, there's a technique, eh? it's not just up and down, it's just you have to go side, side. There's a technique on how they use their flippers. When they look at the, I, I used a, I used a training flippers for swimming, no? <laughs> they laughed at it. Eh? So, I mean, when they looked at it, ah, tawas lang tawo. And they make them and there's rubber straps and there's actually plastic covering the, the rubber strap to protect their feet. There's a fisherman, um, I put a GoPro on his hand. So while he was spearfishing, makita mo talaga na sometimes he misses, sometimes he can. And by at the end of the video, you see like, di ba, he puts it on a string, di ba? It's like 20 fishes maybe there in an hour. That's, that's impressive. That's takes a lot of skill. Sabi nga Wag ka lang lumungoy doon sa medyo malalim kasi baka makikita ka ng last trip. Last trip, apating. Ah, <laughs>